Alright everybody, I'm going to start this video off with a simple question. Who's afraid of the dark? Uh oh, it just got really dark in here. Fortunately, I have the solution. It's a little something I picked up recently, a couple months ago actually, so not all that recently. Back when I was thrift storing, I picked up something along with a VHS video camera that I'm saving for another project that can really only be described as a pocket sun. It's a sun pack movie light that actually screws onto the top of a camcorder with a compatible mounting arrangement. And as you can see in a pitch black room, it really lights things up pretty well. It does a decent job. You can see my messy laundry there and all that good stuff. But the thing that kept me from using this, and it amazes me that after all these years that the uh, nickel cadmium batteries in it are still any good at all, but the thing that kept me from using this was the lack of a charger because it's a really oddball voltage. Well, I solved that problem pretty quickly and easily. Switch back to the room lights here. I solved that problem by using, by repurposing the um, charger from an old cordless phone that had died a long time ago. And so this is the SunPak Ready Light 20 Super Battery Light. Contains a replaceable nickel cadmium battery pack, a little halogen bulb of some description that can also be replaced, and of course, wow, a simple on-off switch. The only drawback to its operation, of course, is that it gets very hot while it is in operation. But I reckon this will be a handy piece at some point or another, like maybe, you know, provided the battery pack holds up, which so far it has been, which considering its age, which I'd guess to be probably at least ten years ago, I don't know how recently you could buy a VHS camera still, or even a camera that would accept this kind of a mount, although it looks like it's just a conventional hot shoe style mount. But anyway, for this thing's age, the batteries are really holding up well, and as you can see, or could see when it was dark in here, it really seems to work quite well. So I just thought I'd make a quick video about it, and if anybody has any information about this thing, like how old it might be, or where I could get a replacement light bulb if I needed one, I'd really appreciate hearing from you.